I want to start doing more vlog style. I noticed that when I'm on my live, I'll be like, okay guys, I'm on the way to an event. And I'm like, I wonder if anyone is ever like, what events are, is she going to? I wanted to just give you a glimpse. I'm probably going to do a couple more vlog short vlogs, eight to 10 minutes of just what I'm doing in LA. I went to this really, really dope event put on by Matt Scott and he is a professional athlete. He is in a wheelchair and he was in the, I think it's called the Paralympics, the Perry Olympics or the Paralympics. Amazing athlete. Like his, when I watch his Instagram, I literally am like, Sianna, get off the couch, like get to the gym right now. His content is so inspirational. So I went to an event that he put on and he put on an event that is showcasing his organization. Put his organization down below. And pretty much it was a basketball tournament of all teams that are in wheelchairs. Some are in wheelchairs because of being born that way. Some are in wheelchairs because they served America and in, in the army, in the military. Different reasons why people are in these wheelchairs. And I was blown away. Like I was, I couldn't believe that they were able to bounce the ball, dribble the ball, and push the wheelchair. Like, I just, I was shook. Like, that, everybody was on edge. The game was super intense. It was like, it was a real tournament. Like, it wasn't like, oh, let's just gather some people together that, you know, are in wheelchairs and, you know, it'll be cool and nice. And f no, this is like real deal. And I was like, is this like a league, like a national league? And he was like, no, most of the time there's just like tournaments that get put on. I was shocked because the way that these guys are playing, it's like, this is, this is serious. It's, it's like, it needs to be like a league. So I'm going to refer to it as a league. I don't really know how else to refer to it, but I would, it's, it's teams of three that are in wheelchairs and they're bomb. Like it was so dope. So it pretty much is bringing awareness to this organization, to these individuals that are in wheelchairs and how they pretty much have turned their circumstance into this powerful talent and it's just like so inspiring to to see and to watch today and what i thought was super dope is that they took other basketball players professional basketball players i think they play overseas i'm not really sure but or maybe like d1 basketball they paired them up and they did a dunk contest so i'll also link that and show you guys but i was they had to create a really dope dunk on the fly okay it, it, they didn't practice this ahead of time it wasn't something that was planned out ahead of time as far as like what they were going to do for the dunk so they had to literally get together get creative figure out the level of difficulty figure out their strategy on how to utilize the both of them so one member was in a wheelchair and the other one basketball player was in a wheelchair and one basketball player was not in a wheelchair so you're gonna you know obviously see that here and it was just really cool to watch them like team up together and figure out how they were gonna do it and it just ended up being really really entertaining and i think it's something that all-star games like for the nba or at WNBA, like if they can incorporate where wheelchair activity where professional players that are in wheelchairs professional athletes in wheelchairs can be highlighted oh so, so cool so dope and then just to kind of show you guys, show you what I did for the rest of the day. So after that, it was, oh, also the event was held in on Venice Beach at the basketball courts there. Really, really dope vibe. It's very like California, just like beachy vibes, like natural wavy beach hair, people in like crop tops and shorts and flip flops. Like it's like that kind of vibe. So if you're into that, definitely check out Venice Beach if you never have been. It's a really cool vibe out there. There's like a, a bunch of like different shops and things like that alongside the beach. So it's cool. It's something to do. There's a lot to look at. People performing, it's, it's cool. After that, I, in LA, LA is huge. It is, so LA County is 10 million people. It might even be more now, but it's 10 million people. So it's huge. When you, LA is like in a, in a way, like LA, LA is one like sector, but then like LA County is obviously really huge. This beach is like really far from where I actually live in LA County. So I, whenever I'm like 30 minutes out from where I live or 20 minutes out from where I live, that ends up really being like an hour or two away from where you live due to the traffic. So I always try to take advantage of just being in a different like area of where I live. So I ended up popping into Toca Madera. It's one 
of my favorite restaurants when you want to just get some really good Mexican food. It's a fire vibe. It's very like West Hollywood. Like it's, it's cute. It's cute. There was a really dope DJ. I ended up getting his car because I was like, your mu your spins are like off the chain. I felt like I was like motivated to go to the gym right after Toka Madera. And I just imagine myself like just getting it in, in the gym with his spins and or imagine myself on a yacht or I imagine myself in Vegas at a pool party. Like that was like the kind of music, but it was like fly. It, he knew how to mix like old with the new, with house music, with rap. Like it was just, it was, I loved it. So I ended up getting his card. I'm going to check him out if out like his SoundCloud or whatever. So I'll let you guys know what I find on there and I may link it because it's it was so dope. So I ended up getting when I'm at places like that and, and just in general in Hollywood, obviously a lot of places serve meat. I don't eat meat. So I usually just do a go to whether it's like veggie tacos, a, veg, a veggie burger, a veggie, not really veggie burgers anymore because I don't I stay away from beyond meat. I'm done with that. But a veggie burrito uh, a veggie flauta so it's easy with mexican food because you just basically take replace the the meat with either beans or veg more vegetables so um i ended up getting a kale salad and the guacamole is fire and i ended up in their chips and salsa that's why i did that really really yummy really really fresh so if you ever want to check that out showing you guys what it looks like there super dope vibe it's it's like I feel like you can go there for different reasons. You could go there for a birthday. You can go there to pregame before you're gonna go to a, another event. You can go there as a after an event, like I did. Like I went to a daytime event earlier in the day and then I went around three o'clock. It was a vibe. It turns into more of a nighttime vibe at night. It just depends on what, you, what you're looking for, but it's always very consistent with providing a vibe. So if you're looking for that, it's really cool. There was a, a lot of mo mothers in there celebrating Mother's Day. Like a lot of people took their moms in there. But then I also saw like college kids. And then I also saw like people in the industry. Like it just is like kind of a little bit of everyone. Also that area, West Hollywood is kind of known for that. Like you just kind of don't know who you're gonna, what crowd you're gonna see. It's just kind of a, like a collection of all kinds of people that end up at these places. And then I ended up just been into another spot after that called Joey's. I'm obsessed with Joey's. It's like my go-to. Things end up being like an hour away from me all the time. So whenever I'm like an hour out due to traffic, I like to take advantage of just like kind of popping into like my favorite little places as I go onto my way home. Ended up um, at my, one of my favorite places, Joey's. Had some tea there, read emails and just kind of like relax until the rest of the traffic died down. So that was, that was cool. And then now I'm gonna get a yogurt land and then I'm gonna go home. That's pretty much it. So I wanna just start doing more stuff like this. It's nothing profound. I'm usually talking about, God wants you to do this or get up and work out or find your purpose. Like it's usually really deep and I'm still gonna have those kind of videos, but I also wanna share a little bit more about my life. If you're interested in LA life, I can um, you know, kind of do more like, here's what to do in LA. Like if you're visiting LA or if you haven't been or you know, videos like that. There's so many places I've gone. I'm like, I wish I would have started vlogging a long time ago because I've gone to so many different restaurants, so many different events in so many different areas, so many different cities, little cities um, that are in LA. You know, you have Beverly Hills, you have Century City, you have West Hollywood, Hollywood, you have, you know, the whole valley area, you have the whole beach, the whole entire coast of the beach, you have downtown, you have different areas surrounding downtown like there's so many different areas and so I'm like why have I not been sharing just like some of the cute cool restaurants I've gone to just so you know if you're visiting LA you can go to it or let me know if you live in LA let me know some other spots that you've been to that you want to let me know about I'm always down to that's what's cool about living in LA is that so many things get reinvented all the time that you kind of are always it feels like you're going somewhere new all the time even though it's still the same LA county so that's like something cool about LA but that's pretty much it. I hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your day. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to like. I really want to know. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more content like this. I'm just throwing it out there. Some people have asked. Let me know. Also, sign up with my email list, okay? My contact list. I am going to be just... First of all, I'm give, giving away a bunch of free stuff. So tap in with that. You'll also have, um, you'll also know when I go live and you'll also know when I've uploaded a new video and it's just cool to stay connected with me. You never know what I might have going on, what I might have to offer and just stay connected with me. Outside of these platforms, 
get with my contact list. All right. So do that down below and pretty much it. Catch you on the next one. Bye.